Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be doing a review and a demonstration using a bunch of Laura Geller products. I recently did a haul video where I showed you guys a bunch of new products that I've never used before that I was planning on doing upcoming reviews on. And one of the main brands that I featured in that haul video is Laura Geller. So if you guys haven't seen that haul yet, I will definitely link it down below if you guys wanna check it out. But basically all the products that I have on my face today to create this look are Laura Geller, other than my foundation, my eyebrows and my lips. Everything else is Laura Geller. So I'm gonna review these products, demonstrate them for y'all, and kind of give you guys my thoughts and my opinions as we go through my look step by step. So this video is really fun for me because I get to try out a new brand. And not only am I trying out a new brand, but I'm trying out different products and different pieces from a new brand. So not just one item of the face, not just one type of product, but a bunch of different ones. So the Laura Geller products that I will be reviewing today include a eyeshadow palette, an eyeliner, a mascara, a bronzer, and a blush. So I have five products that I'll be showing you guys today, and I'm so excited to show you. All right, so if y'all wanna see how these products worked out for me, how I got this face that I have on today, and what I think of Laura Geller, then definitely keep on watching. So the eyeshadow palette that I'll be using is the Wearables Baked Eyeshadow Palette. And this palette features five eyeshadows as well as a double-ended brush. So I actually only used three of the eyeshadows from this palette. I used this golden tone here. I used this highlight, really pretty milky sort of vanilla shade here. And then I used this cooler tone, brown gray tone over here. As you can see in this clip, I get a much better pigmentation with my fingers than I do with a brush. The colors just tend to be a little bit more pigmented and a little bit stronger. So if you like having a very colorful eye or if you want something that's a little bit more dramatic, I would definitely recommend applying some of these shadows with your fingers opposed to using a brush. So this is the brush that comes with the palette. It's very, very small. It's small in size and it's small in the sense that the little bristles on each side are very, very tiny. Now I do like to see a smaller brush because I find that you can get more precise application with it. And I did really like this side over here for my crease and this side over here for underneath my eye. However, I don't think you could do your entire eyeshadow look with just this brush alone. I definitely think you would need to incorporate another brush such as a blending brush. The one that I used is by Sedona Lace and this is the Sedona Lace 863. One awesome thing that I found from this eyeshadow palette is that the shadows were very, very blendable. They each blended into each other beautifully. This would be a very easy palette if you are an on the go kind of gal or if you want to do something that's going to be quick and easy. One thing about this eyeshadow palette is I really would have liked to have seen a matte color in here. It definitely doesn't have any matte shades. They are all pretty shimmery, but the good thing about them is that they're not overly shimmery and overly glittery in the sense that I feel like I have a disco ball in my eyes even though I used all shimmer shadows. So a definite con to this product is there was a lot of fallout. Using this product, a lot of the shadows kind of dusted and picked up and kind of coated the packaging of the palette. Here are some swatches from the eyeshadow palette. They are very, very shimmery and they do all have a nice like sparkle to them. You can definitely see that there is almost a glitter in each of these eyeshadows. I think these shadows were picked out very nicely to go together. I think that you could come up with a lot of different looks featuring all these shades. And I think that this is a nice fun color selection because you do get neutral shades, but they almost have a pop of very wearable colors in there. So you do get like a moss and more of a cranberry shade without having to go into something that is a little bit outside of your comfort zone. So I think this is a really good color selection. Now one con that I do see with these eyeshadows is that they are very, very powdery. They have a very like chalky tone to them. Not in the sense that you can't get color payoff with them, but just in the sense that you're definitely going to want to use a primer with them. As you can see from my swatches, they do swatch well, but they are going to kind of rub off easily and they aren't going to be quite as pigmented as they could be if you don't use an eyeshadow primer. Now with that being said, I always recommend using an eyeshadow primer. Eyeshadow primers are always going to enhance the pigmentation of your shadows. 
This is just one of those palettes that I would say don't even try it without a primer. It's gonna enhance the pigmentation and it's going to prolong the wear. The overall look of these shadows is very soft, very blended, very simple, and I think it's very timeless as well. It definitely represents the name of the palette as the wearables, and I think that this is an eyeshadow look that anybody could do at any age. I think this is a perfect palette for a girl on the go or for someone who's in school or someone who just doesn't like to spend a lot of the time getting ready in the morning. The eyeliner that I used is the Laura Geller Eye Care Waterproof Eyeliner. I used this eyeliner on my upper lash line and it glided on super, super easily. And I also included this eyeliner on my lower lash line as well and even blended that into my waterline. Now, this eyeliner is supposed to be waterproof. However, I don't find that it is the longest wearing waterproof eyeliner I have ever used. It is long wearing, but if you are going to be out in the sun or if you are going to be crying, I would probably try using an eyeliner that's a little bit more waterproof than this one. But a definite benefit of this eyeliner is that it does come with a smudger on the end. This is the Laura Geller Glam Lash, and this is a dramatic volumizing mascara. Now, this mascara has a little teeny tiny wand. This is what the wand looks like on the mascara. It's a very small, skinny wand, so it gives you a lot of control, and you can really get into each individual eyelash and really plump it up and really make sure every lash is coated. I think this mascara did a really good job at volumizing my lashes. I feel like it separated my lashes enough that they didn't feel like they were all stuck together, but I also feel like this gave me a lot of volume and a lot of drama at the same time. So it's kind of a nice middle ground mascara. This is the Laura Geller Baked Impression Bronzer. This is a nice matte bronzer. This is in the shade medium, which is more of a matte cool tone, very neutral bronzer. It's not too warm, not too cool, but I would say it's more on the cool side. When I first applied this bronzer, I definitely applied a little bit too much, but it's very, very easy to blend out. I really, really enjoy the tone of this bronzer. I think it's a great neutral tone. I think it complements my skin tone, and I think it would fit a lot of other skin tones as well. One of my favorite things about this bronzer is I think it's cool enough that you can contour with it, but it doesn't look silly having it all over your face to kind of bring some color back into the look. I love the way this bronzer looks on. I think it adds a really, really pretty tone to the skin, and I think that it does a good job of adding warmth as well as definition to the face. So I really enjoy this bronzer, and I think it's one of my favorite products from Laura Geller Beauty. And the last product I have to share with you is the Laura Geller The Baked Blush in Catalina. It's kind of more of a cool tone sort of plum shade. I think that this color would really flatter a lot of different skin tones, especially some with more of a lighter medium tone. This blush is very, very easy to apply. I think a little bit goes a long way. And one of my favorite things about the Laura Geller products that I've tried out is that they're very blendable. So you don't have any streakiness on the skin and you don't have an issue with applying too much product because you can easily blend it out and get a really flawless look. In time, your blushes are too pigmented and it can be a little bit trickier to blend out on the skin so I think this is a wonderful blush and I think this is something that a large range of people would enjoy since it is so blendable but the pigmentation is still there now for my face I did decide to use a eyeshadow as a highlighter and I used this guy right here which is a really pretty shade it worked super super well I think it adds a really nice iridescence to the skin and I just used a small eyeshadow brush to apply that I think the formulation of these baked shadows Shadows works beautifully on the skin and having baked ingredients really helps it to blend out and look very natural. All in all, I'm very impressed with the Laura Geller products that I was able to try out. My very favorite product is definitely the Matte Baked Bronzer in the shade Medium. I love that this product is water resistant. I love how blendable it is. And I think that this tone is just absolutely gorgeous. It actually reminds me a lot of the Stila Stay All Day Bronzer in the shade Medium, which is another one of my favorites. So if you guys are gonna try out one product from Laura Geller Beauty that I featured in this video, I would definitely say check out this bronzer. I think I think it has great pigmentation. I think it's very blendable and I love that it's water resistant. All right guys, so that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Definitely leave me a comment down below if you guys have tried out any Laura Geller beauty products. I wanna hear what your thoughts are. I will have more information listed in the description box down below if you guys wanna check that out. Definitely check out my social media links and I will leave more information on the look that I did today as well. I hope y'all enjoyed this video and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, then definitely do. I would love to 
see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see y'all later. Bye.